Negation and double negatives in languages. I have never not read no book like this before. Now that sentence I just said may have sounded a little bit strange in English, but in fact, this is the way that most languages actually express it. English happens to be in the minority here. What happens when you add another negative to an English sentence? Normally, it makes that sentence positive, but not always. English can be a little bit tricky. So let me give you a few examples here. There isn't no other way. What that means is positive. There isn't no other way. That happens to be negative. I didn't go nowhere today. That happens to be negative. You don't know nothing. That happens to be negative. I didn't not go to work today. That happens to be positive. And also notice my rise in voice at the end of the sentence. We can't not go to sleep, and that happens to be positive. So, were you able to guess each of the, the sentences correctly, whether they were positive or negative? I know it's kind of tricky in English. If you're not sure about what you're actually hearing when other people speak, you might want to follow up with a, with a question and say, <laughs> do you mean that in an actual negative or a positive? And so why is English like this? English is a Germanic language, and just like most of the Germanic languages, they do not allow these double negatives in the sentence. Now, there's uh, one example of a language that does, and that's kind of an offshoot of Dutch. When the Dutch settlers in South Africa came, uh, they brought their language with them. But over time, that language changed into a, a local language. It became its own local language called Afrikaans. But Afrikaans and Dutch are very similar. The thing is that Dutch, they don't allow double negatives, but Afrikaans requires double negatives. So it's one of the differences in the grammar between the two languages. Now, where will you find double negatives? The Romance languages, such as Portuguese, uh, Spanish, French, Italian, Romanian, they all use double negatives in their sentences. And then also the Balto-Slavic languages of Eastern Europe. So this includes Russian, Ukrainian, uh, Lithuanian, Latvian, Polish, Czech, Slovak, Slovene, Serbian, and Bulgarian and Macedonian. Now, these will also use double negatives in their sentence. Now, some languages outside of Europe may have the same kind of rules that English have regarding double negatives in the sentence. And what that means is that by adding another negative in the sentence, it will actually make it positive. So, for example, I could say the sentence in Chinese, 我非去不可, and that means I and the fei here is another kind of a negative word, which just means the uh, non-existence of. The non-existence of going is not possible. So the way I would translate it is that I can't not go, which means I must go. So again, I'll say it. 我非去不可. So I, I shouldn't not go, which means I must go. So it's an interesting way of using a double negative in the Chinese language. I've got so much that I want to share with you guys, so don't forget to click the button below and subscribe.